Hello, my name is Mrs. Certain, and I am your student's honors math three teacher here at Buchanan High School. So a little bit about myself and this class. Um, as I mentioned earlier, my name is Mrs. Certain. I've been married for six and a half years to my husband, Ben Certain. This is my ninth year of teaching, my seventh year here at Buchanan High School. I went to Fresno Pacific University where I got a bachelor's in music with an emphasis in flute performance and a bachelor's in math with an emphasis in secondary education. I then got my credential and my master's in teaching. I also am a graduate from Buchanan High School myself, so I'm a proud member of Bear Nation. I also like to throw this out every year because sometimes there's some fun connections that are made. Um, I have a number of family members who work in Clovis Unified. Um, my mother is Mrs. Den Hartog. She's a math teacher at Clovis West High School. And then I have three sisters, all Miss Den Hartog. Um, one's a math teacher at Clovis North High School. One is a counselor at Clovis High School. And one is a math teacher at Alta Sierra Intermediate. I also teach AP Calculus, but again, I'm your student's honors math three teacher this year. Um, it, for some rules and expectation, as well as a little bit about grading. Um, in terms of what to expect in class for your students, my expectation is that they're on time to class, that they actively participate daily, that they take ownership of their education, and that they're respectful to their peers and teachers. Um, and that, that idea of actively participating and taking ownership of their education is important because I will, as we are, are doing lessons, as we are doing extra practice when there's time for that, um, I will be asking them for feedback. Hey, how are we doing with this concept? Are we good with this and good to move on? Or do we need to do another one? Um, and it's pretty imperative that your student is honest, right? And I, I provide a variety of opportunities to provide that feedback, or I try to, um, because they obviously know what they're thinking better than I do. Um, and so I want to give them that opportunity to speak as to their mastery of a particular concept. What to expect outside of class. They should expect homework every night. It will be posted in Google Classroom as a reminder for them. And then they are expected to bring their notes every day to class. Additionally speaking, when it comes to those notes, if your student is absent, I post the filled out notes um, for every objective upon the completion of that objective. So as soon as we finish unit two, objective one, then I upload the filled out notes for unit two, objective one. I also fill or upload a video walking through the notes for most, if not all of the objectives. If for some reason I miss a video and your student's looking at that filled out notes and they're really wanting a video and I didn't upload one, encourage your student to reach out to me. I will happily get that video made for them. In terms of grading, so 30% of their grade is assignments, quizzes, participation. So essentially kind of everything we do during a class setting um, or to practice a, a lesson that we've just learned. So that, that kind of participation assignment category. And then 70% is the assessments. So tests, the final, if we do any projects, that will be in there. Um, but again, 30% for, for the other stuff and 70% for those assessments. Um, I've included some communication information here if that would be helpful. So I included my email, Deanna Certain at clovisusd.k12.ca.us. Um, if your student has any questions at all, please encourage them to email me or if you do, um, feel free to reach out. I am here to, to support you and your student to the best of my ability. I've also included the Google Classroom code, although your student should be in Google Classroom already at this point. Um, if they should switch between the periods at some point, I'll make sure that they get the other classroom code for sure. And then I've also included two websites there. One leads to our Buchanan High School math website, and then one is my own personal website. Although again, most stuff is posted in Google Classroom. If your student is looking, like I said, for, for video notes or those filled out notes I mentioned or a reminder of what their homework assignment is, um, all of that is posted in Google Classroom. In terms of extra help. So if your student needs extra help, my office hours are Tuesday and Wednesday after school from 2.45 to 3.45. Um, barring, of course, if I have a meeting that has to get scheduled Wednesday after school, then I'll, I'll reschedule that office hour. I'll always make sure to say so in class and tell students that, and then it usually will get rescheduled for, say, Thursday, right? Tuesday, Thursday instead of Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday instead of Tuesday, Thursday. Um, but I'll make sure I get two after school sessions. Additionally, if you notice at the bottom it says other times communicate with Mrs. Certain. Um, 
I have a lot of lunches available. So if your student is in athletics and can't make after school times, have them reach out to me. Chances are we will be able to find at least one lunch <laughs> that works for both of us, um, if not more than that, um, where we can come in and meet maybe Tuesday at lunch and, and get them that help that they're looking for. Uh, again, I just need them to communicate with me. Hey, Mrs. Certain, I need to come in at a lunch time. Is there a lunch that works? Um, and we'll figure out we'll figure out how to make something happen in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so again, my name is Mrs. Certain. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. Um, it was so nice speaking with you.